in case of human being uh, we are we are discussing the buccal cavity so th th that is the buccal cavity the buccal cavity contains tongue as well as tooth we saw the structure of tooth we saw the structure of tongue as well now if you see the tooth the nature of the tooth in human being is thick odont firstly it is thick odont having said that thick odont means teeth are present inside sockets for example tooth is present tooth is present inside the socket see a tooth is present inside the socket then you call it as thick odont in our ancestors the reptiles up to reptiles fishes amphibians reptiles you can see the teeth are generally present attached to the summit of the jaw when teeth are present attached to the summit of the jaw it is called as acrodont dentition acrodont dentition thick odont dentition is seen in mammals it is also seen in crocodiles if you don't dentish in case of human being in case of human being there is diffio don't dentish a diffio don't dentish two sets of teeth are seen during lifetime first set of teeth the it is called as milk teeth it is also called temporary teeth it is also called deciduous teeth all same the the first tooth they erupt after 6 months or so after birth and no teeth at birth in human being but gradually over a period of time after 6th month so in between 6th and 24th month so that means after half an year or in less than 2 years teeth are erupting the first set of teeth are small they are weak they are small and weak they are called as milk teeth temporary teeth or deciduous teeth uh, they are not permanent over a period of time in between 6 and 12 years of age they are lost they are replaced by another set of teeth called as permanent permanent teeth that's why since we find two sets of teeth during lifetime you call it as diffio don't dentish the first set of teeth are lost uh, in some anywhere between 6 to 12 years of age and then permanent set of teeth are coming into existence if you see the permanent set if you see the dental formula of that milk teeth the dental formula of milk teeth is this when i say the dental formula upper jaw lower jaw in the numerator in the numerator i take the teeth present in the upper jaw in the denominator i take the teeth present in the lower jaw one half when i say dental formula in the numerator i take the teeth present in one half of the upper jaw and in the denominator i take the teeth present in one half of the lower jaw so there are five teeth here five teeth here so same number will be present this side also so 5 into 4 totally it will be 20 total number of teeth is 20 but in the milk teeth the milk teeth are gone this replaced by permanent set permanent set is like this a permanent set of teeth you got 3 5 and 8 so there are eight here eight here so 4 8 32 total number of teeth is 32 but until 18 years 18 to 20 it is like this 
the last set of molars are missing. We, we call that, you see, incisors, canines, premolars, molars. So last one represents molars. So we have got a difference between a person between 12 and, year, 12 and 18 years of age, only two sets of molars on the upper jaw. But after the third, one more pair is added. The last pair of molars is called wisdom teeth. So when one is missing, four is missing, so it will be 28. 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 4, 7, 28. So the difference between some 15 year old teenager and 25 year old adult is the presence of wisdom teeth the last pair of molars and this is the permanent complete permanent set this is the incomplete permanent set this is the milk teeth so in lifetime two sets of teeth are present it is called diffeodont dentition heterodont dentition Heterodont dentition. Different types of teeth are present. All teeth are not structurally similar. Then you call it as heterodont dentition. Similar teeth, structurally similar teeth are present. It is called homodont dentition. For example, if all teeth are like this, if all teeth are similar in structure, it is called homodont dentition. Fishes, amphibians, reptiles, most of the cases, the teeth is homodont. But in case of human being, the teeth is heterodont. You can see incisors in that the first two are called as incisors. The next one is called as canines. The next two are called as premolars. The next three are called as molars. Incisors. Incisors, they are sharp, chisel like. And they are sharp and they are chisel like. They are, they are useful for cutting the food into pieces. Incisors of elephants are modified into tusks. They are modified into tusks. In case of elephant, the proboscis is actually the nose and upper lip modified. And the incisors, and that, that's the incisors, the incisors are chisel-like, useful for biting the food into pieces in human being. In elephants, it is modified into tusks. Canines. Canines are dagger-like. They are, they are sharp and dagger-like. They are useful for tearing the flesh into pieces. They are useful for tearing the food into pieces. And they are well developed in carnivores. That's why they are called carnivora. Canines well developed. But canines are missing in that herbivorous animals like rabbit. Premolars and molars. Premolars and molars are called cheek teeth they're because they are present in the cheek region and they have cusps. They have cusps like that. Cusp. See, that's the cusp. A raised, raised pointed elevation is called cusp. Now, cusps are present. In case of premolars and molars, they are useful for grinding the food into pieces. Canines have got single cusp, so they are called monocuspids. But premolars have got two cusps, so they are called bicuspids. Molars have got four or five. In the upper jaw, I mean the maxillary molars have got four cusps. The mandibular molars have got five cusps. So four different types of teeth are present. It's a specialized dentition. You call it as heterodont dentition. 
in case of animals like horses buffaloes premolars and molars are large they have got raised cusps and ridges in case of snakes the teeth are backwardly directed so they are only preventing the escape of prey and in case of carnivorous animals in the upper jaw the last premolar and in the lower jaw the first molar they are not like this they are modified into canines in carnivorous animals like lion tiger the last premolar in the upper jaw and the first molar in the lower jaw they they are not having cusps they they are pointed canine like they are called carnassial teeth useful for cracking that larger bones into pieces